I'm Jerry, I'm 58 years old, uh, recently retired uh, two years ago, firefighter for 34 years. Just like my wife, I like to hike, I like to explore uh, outdoors. We are both born and raised in Florida, so uh, we, we uh, like to get out and enjoy what Florida has to offer. In 2003, I had a fire that pulled a woman out, and then I was named firefighter of the year for that year for, for doing that, and got my picture with Governor Bush, Jeb Bush over there. When I retired, my crew had this built for me, uh, customized for me. We've always rode bikes and done a lot of hiking in Florida. We uh, started to want to go further in our hikes and our bike rides, but uh, we, you know, we would just tire out, especially in the heat. So we started looking at electric bikes. We saw a couple out on the trails. So I started researching them and looking at them. And uh, now that we've had them, I, I realized what I, uh, God's in the ark, because they are, they are great, a lot of fun. It makes life so much easier out on the, on the trails. We can go twice as far now, three times as far, not get tired out, not get overheated. So they've really made a, a big difference in our lives. All right, we're, we're campers and we have a travel trailer. And I purchased a golf cart a couple years ago to, to be able to take camping with us. I bought the biggest one they had out at the time, I think, and it didn't fit in the truck, didn't fit in the camper. So basically it sat at home all day long. It, uh, I miss it and all, but it, you know, it was good for around the neighborhood, but it wasn't good for camping. And the e-bikes, e we've been on two camping trips with them, and they've made a big difference in our camping adventures. And the, what's nice about the fold-ups is I put three of them in the back of my truck, and they fit nice, and I can cover them up, and they're out of the weather. Even with the golf cart, we couldn't have went off-road like we can with these bikes, where we can go on dirt roads, we can go on, on the bike trails, and the, where these guys, we can leave the campground, we can go ride on the beach. So it's opened up a whole new uh, thing of possibilities for us as far as what we get to see now. Yeah, a lot of people are, are buying them for their mode of transport around the city, going to work and school and stuff like that, and it's great. Uh, it's a great option. Hi, I'm Denise. I'm 56 years old and love to go exploring and riding on my bike. <laughs> I only started this a few years back and I wish I'd have done it a long time ago because just the places we've gone, I, I keep track of all the bike trails, all the hiking trails. When I'm going somewhere, I got the Tallahassee area, all the different places I want to see and do while I'm in that area, Jacksonville area. Where am I going to go and what am I going to see? I've just, and check them off as I've seen them and done them. So anytime we we're packing up to go camp and I know where we're going. Besides that we bought the bikes for the main purpose of going camping with us, we found that we're using them a lot more at home, finding whatever trail we can to, to explore and enjoying them a lot at home. Can't leave home without the dogs either. We probably go twice a week, I would say right now. Going and we've gone as far as two hours away to ride bike trails. I mean, to, towards Orlando, the east. And there's a lot of bike trails around. A few close, but a few not so close. But uh, we've been taking some some drives to find new places, and we found a lot of nice ones. On our old bikes, we'd only get, you know, three, four, five miles. On these, we can go 20, 30 miles. Yeah, we did 30 miles. the other day, and it was just not like, breaking a sweat either. Yeah. It's like. You get tired, you just kind of I always tell her that uh, my butt will outlast the battery. <laughs> I get so I get so sore to say that just I'm gonna try a new seat to see if it works. I, I don't know if it'll work or not, but I've noticed my son, all he does is <laughs> hit the throttle. The throttle, I never see his feet moving. I'm probably not, I need to uh, disconnect that so he can get some exercise. Like uh, this past week at the beach, we could you could have rode to the next town down the beach. I mean, it's just endless as far as you, there's nothing to stop you out there. It's really nice riding. Well, of course we can't leave home without the dogs. <laughs> they love to go for a bike ride. We even bought them little helmets, but they will not keep them on. They, they just sit in the basket and just sightsee right along with us. That's what I love about the bikes is we're just sightseeing. I'm not out there racing or Booking down the road, I'm just looking at all the beauty around us. Somebody passes in a, with a dog, they might bark once or twice, but they don't never try to jump out. No. They, they, uh, they, she sits there like a little sightseer, just looking at everything around. 
If they see us load them up in the truck, they start getting oh, that they know. excited and ready to go. She likes to go swimming, so we go like to where the river is down there. She, every time we stop, she wants to go in the water, which with the gators and stuff. But we don't like her to do that. But <laughs> even those pits over there on Wiki Watches, she'll she'll want to go in those pits. It's like she's a water dog. Sometimes I think she can understand language, can't you? <laughs> you want to go swimming? Go, go swimming. Go swimming. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We have probably four or five paved bike trails, and one's 47 miles long. It's over there with Lacucci. So it, it goes through some really pretty country, swamps, and I even had one guy tell me the other day, you're cheating, <laughs> as we were going down the beach, because you know, he, he, he's still- He's struggling going down the beach, and we're yeah. just cruising <laughs> along, so. But, and I'm able to put them in the bins. The lid don't fit on the bins, because they're, they're higher than, of course, but I just, uh, after I do that, I wrap them, a big tarp over them, and, the net over it and it's fine. I built a thing that goes in the back of my truck where two of them can ride standing up. So all I do is put them in and, and, and strap them down and they're fine. Now when we set up our camping trips, we kind of look at bike trails in the area and kind of incorporate the biking in, into the camping. I look for more trails to hit and different places to explore. I love just being out there and the girls love it. We, uh, we've had the bikes now for about three, four months and so far they've uh, met my expectations. Um, I know I didn't expect how they take off when you actually hit that, that first speed and, and go. It really throws you back a little bit. That was took some getting used to, but I'm totally happy with them. The maintenance hasn't been too much of a problem with them so far. We keep them nice and clean every time we ride. So far, I, I don't regret my purchase. I really enjoy them. I think we're gonna get a lot of use out of them. I would like to actually maybe upgrade to a Ranger one day, so I might have one for sale here soon, but uh, so far, you know, we have a lot of fun with them and, and I look forward to what the future holds. <laughs>